Hello my lovelies and welcome back to All About Jamie. Many of you have been interested and asked me about my previous flight attendant life with Singapore Airlines. So today I thought I'll share a little bit of insight about it makeup wise. So I will be doing a Singapore Airlines girl makeup for you guys today. And at the end of this video, I will be challenging someone to recreate my makeup look. So guys, stay tuned to find out who it is. One important thing to take note of if you are a flight attendant is to make sure that your hair and makeup is always like a perfect 10. Especially if you are with Singapore Airlines because they stress a lot on grooming. And if you even have one hair out of place, your seniors are going to give it to you. You might even get a warning letter if your hair is not good and makeup they are very very particular about how the makeup of an sq girl should be which is world renowned i mean everybody knows about the singapore girl that is why i thought it's going to be fun to do the singapore girl makeup for you guys today when you are first recruited to be a singapore girl you actually go through a makeup and hair session whereby you are trained to do your makeup and hair like a singapore girl and you are supposed to adhere to the colors that they have picked for you the kind of makeup how you should do your eyeliner and your lips and even your nails Unfortunately, I can't do the Singapore Girl nails for you today because I've been wearing very nude nails due to my many photo shoots that require my nails to be nude. But the Singapore Girl always wear chili red. So skincare is very important to a flight attendant. I've already got my skincare and my foundation on simply because I just did a foundation and concealer video last week so I don't want to repeat the process and just we bore you guys. So I always have a bottle of Evian Mineral Water Face Mist with me when I was flying. At every hour, I would make sure that I give my face a spritz just to ensure that I get hydrated. I think this is going to be so fun guys because there is a very signature makeup for the Singapore girl but don't laugh at me <laughs> after I do the makeup it is going to be very blue like my uniform right here <laughs> so usually when we travel on long haul flights we try not to wear makeup as passengers because makeup kind of like dries up and creates all these lines especially during these dry conditions but if you're working on the plane as a flight attendant especially for singapore airlines you have to have your makeup a perfect 10 on point from foundation to lipstick at all times you cannot be without your lipstick even if you are on rest hour <laughs> okay I would recommend to use 24 hour foundation. This one is really good. It's by Dior Forever and it's the Tain Tenu 24 hours called Perfection Sublime de Paul. I hope I pronounced this correctly, but basically it means that it's a 24 hour long wearing foundation that is matte. Why would I say matte? Okay, when your skin feels dry on the inside, it tends to produce a lot more oil on the outside and you don't want to end up looking like very very oily during the flight which is why it's best to use a mattifying foundation and of course setting it with a layer of loose powder next i am going to be using this palette because i definitely need the color blue for this makeup so i've got this palette by florisis 
which has got a very electric strong blue which I love and this shimmery palette from Decote right here I have got colors that the Singapore girl would agree with. I first start by highlighting my brow bones. I think I need a few strokes just to make my brows look better, like more framed. You know, the brows always frame the face. When I was a flight attendant, I was so good at doing my hair this way. But it took a little bit of time today and I couldn't get it right. I guess everything comes with like practice makes perfect. What I love most about being a flight attendant is that I get to meet different, different people from different countries like my passengers. In a different country, I get to meet new people which was like super fun and amazing for me as a young girl. I mean, unless you're from a very privileged family background, which young girl actually get to travel as much as a flight attendant? I'm putting some blue to make sure that it matches with the uniform. But I think I need to use my fingers to bring out like stronger colors. So I got to visit all these amazing places in Europe. Of course, Paris is my dream city. I went to Paris many, many times as a flight attendant and I got to experience like all this French cuisine, but namely croissant. <laughs> As a flight stewardess, I had to really be very careful with my spending so I never used to spend a lot of money. Most of the time, I would reach a city and I actually pack dry food like rice, instant noodles, even like red beans, green beans, like all these Chinese stuff into my luggage and I have a cook pot. So most of my meals, I cook them in my room to save money so that I could bring more money back home to feed the family. I mean, the most I would do is probably to go to their supermarket and buy like sushi when I'm in Japan, maybe like a baguette and croissant and some pastry if I were in Paris. The most memorable trip for me has got to be when I went to Greece in Athens where I got to visit the Acropolis to uh, look at the ruins. It was like super amazing for me. I've never seen anything like it. And then um, those were one of my first flights and then we actually went sightseeing. I do a lot of sightseeing when I was a stewardess because I feel that, you know, to see the world, you have to go sightseeing. We've been to the countryside in Europe where all the beautiful, most beautiful flowers you have seen in your life is just there. Those were some very memorable trips for me. Oh, yes, another time. I think I experienced an earthquake when I was sleeping. I think it was uh, in Osaka. So one morning I felt that my whole bed was rumbling. It was like, kind of like, you, you, you know, like, I was, the whole bed was shaking. So I woke up and I was like, oh my God, this room is haunted. <laughs> I was very afraid of ghosts. I still am very afraid of ghosts. So every time I enter a room and which obviously, you know, as a flight attendant, you sleep in different hotels all the time. So I've got some like really haunted story like I stayed in this room in Amsterdam and that particular room was supposed to be haunted as well. Like at a certain time, some milkmaid is going to ring 
you have bell, okay? And I got that ring and I never got it. I was so frightened. I started like reciting like scriptures from scriptures to Bible. So because I was a free thinker, I would recite anything. <laughs> eyeliner is very important. Make sure your eyeliner is dark enough and it can be seen. So I'm going to be very careful. Because even on a usual day, I don't wear that much eye makeup and eyeliner. I'm using this Dolce & Gabbana E-Line Eyes Liquid Eyeliner. I like it because it has a very very sharp tip and it's super black. It's like jet black. Which is good for creating like a dramatic makeup and it's very easy to glide on so you actually don't end up tugging on your eyelids. And to open up my eyes so that I don't look half asleep even on a 10 hour flight, I like to line the inside of my waterline with light coloured pencil. I like to use the Charlotte Tilbury one. I mean, I've mentioned this many times in my videos before. It is the Rock and Call Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil. So what I do is I line that whole entire inside of my waterline with this white crayon, mm -hmm. if you can see. It really opens up my small eyes. So if I didn't line the bottom of my eyes, right, my seniors are going to think that I did not put on sufficient makeup. I like to put a layer of eyeshadow over my crayon eye pencil because that will ensure that my eyeliner does not run during a flight. So I'm going to use a dark brown. The more the better. Just be heavy handed when it comes to this makeup. Okay. Heavy is king. <laughs> Use your heaviest hand when you are creating this look. Nothing gentle about it. Just go for it. Now you see, if you think that this blue is enough, I'm telling you that it is not enough. Now I'm going to get my most high definition eyeshadow brush and plong on more blues. Just bring up the eyes. <laughs> yes, they love this. This like half blue, half orange look is like by far a massive favorite. You want it that way, you get it that way. Okay, blend out, blend out, blend this out. Good. Some more blue. I may look a little bit weird now, right? But I promise you that when I put on the uniform, I could be on a great way to fly advertisement. During those days, we never had the luxury of eyelash extensions. Unlike today, I have like this whole set of eyelash extensions that really make my life a lot, a lot easier. But when I was flying, I had to, of course, you know, curl my eyelashes with a conventional eyelash curler and then put on thick mascara. But these days, flight attendants have it easier because of the invention of eyelash extensions and whoever invented that thank you so much from all of us I'm going to move on to the lips next and that is also another very signature look of the Singapore girl is to make sure that your lips are very very red using a red lip liner this one is from Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the color Walk of No Shame Always, always use a lip liner to ensure that your lipstick doesn't bleed out of your lip. Let's move on to the lipstick. This Dior lipstick in the classic Dior Red, I think it's called the Rouge Dior number no. 999. One of my favorite reds. Still applying straight from this lipstick, I'm going to use a lip brush. 
so that I get the perfect line. Line from the lip brush will ensure that, you know, the colour is intense. Okay, lip proportion is very important when you are wearing a dark shade like red. And to prevent that hole, you see, I don't have that problem. You know, when you wear lipstick, especially red, sometimes you have, okay, I'm going to try to get lipstick on my teeth right now. And there, lipstick on your teeth. And nobody can actually like tell you like, um, miss, you got lipstick on your teeth, okay. To ensure that that doesn't happen, is to wrap a piece of tissue around your finger and after you apply your lipstick, just really like do this. You're not gonna get lipstick on your teeth anymore after you do this because it removes whatever that is closest to your teeth and then you're not gonna have like red stained teeth. So that's one of the tricks goals, very important one. So my lips are done and I am going to do a little bit of contouring so that my face will look slim, small, like a melon seed in front of my passengers. So in case one of them want to ask me out on a date, you never know. Yeah, it's a great way to meet new people. <laughs> and my blusher. I'm using this very neutral shade by Decote. I love this shade actually even for my normal days, like number seven. Very, very neutral, which is nice. Just put a little bit on the apples of your cheek. But guys, you think that this is done, but no, that's not the Singapore girl look. So I'm putting on a layer of this pink, which is in the color 04 by Decote as well. Oh my god, I had this makeup on in a thousand years. One of the last step. Now I'm going to highlight so that when you know the light in the cabin hits on my face. I look like I have a perfect nose. Make sure that I have a maximized lip. I am applying a lip maximizer, which is a hyaluronic lip plumper by Dior on the center of my lip. And the last step is to set my makeup to ensure that it lasts through a long haul flight. I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime which is supposed to make my makeup last even better and longer. And just let it dry. I'm gonna change so to get the whole complete look for a Singapore girl standy. Be right back. And by the way, this is not my uniform, okay? I had to return my uniform. <laughs> this is from my friend who was also an SQ girl, so I borrowed this and if it looks a little bit tight on me, you guys know why. Welcome on board Singapore Airlines. Now that I've completed the look, I am going to challenge someone to recreate this look with a twist. And I've got the perfect person. Let's all welcome Jessica Lee. Hello. Hi guys. If you guys don't know who she is, you are missing out. She is a Korean that lives in the Philippines. Yeah, that's right. What do you think of my makeup skills? Because I have got a challenge for you. Wow, I mean like you look gorgeous right now with that Singaporean <laughs> airline <laughs> uniform. <laughs> Like complete set, yeah. Set, yeah. It was like total deja vu when I yeah. recreated this look, yes. Because oh, yeah. I, I used to be a flight attendant with uh, Singapore yeah. Airlines, which is why we are recreating this oh, look. Oh, wow. Oh, that's interesting. Now, are you up for the challenge? Because you're going to have to recreate my look. Yeah, well, my makeup skill isn't the best, but then I'll try my best because, you know, I miss seeing flight attendants, so why don't I create one to look like one on me? I'm so excited to show everyone as well, like the contrast between the Singapore Airlines look and then the Philippine Airlines look. Mm. 
with a yeah, Singapore the twist. Philippine Airlines look is. I'll look forward to that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I wish you all the best of luck, and I can't wait to see you. Yeah. Thank you so much. See you, and nice to meet you. Yeah. See you. Bye bye. Hey guys, so how do you like my outfit and my makeup? I can't wait to see what Jessica is going to create, so stay tuned on her channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave your comments, and show me some love by clicking the like button. And I'll see you all next week. So I'm gonna go with a lighter blue. I don't know it's like tissue. Oh my god. Yes, I got it!